Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to create water splash in Adobe Illustrator. First, we will make a sketch in Photoshop. We will use a brush of our choice and start sketching. We will only make curved lines and emphasize their unevenness because the water will never jump in a uniform way but in a random way. First we will make the front part, then we will move on to the back part. We will make sure that the way the water jumps, forms an empty dome on the inside. All lines will be rounded and there will be no sharp corner. After we have finished with the back part, we will move on to drawing the water drops. They will be found above the highest loops. They will be of different shapes and sizes. The inner ones will be bigger and the outer ones smaller. After finishing the sketch in Photoshop, we will save it as a JPEG image and insert it into Adobe Illustrator. Then we will reduce the opacity and lock the image. In making the drawing we will use Pencil Tool. So we will go to Pencil Tool and start drawing over the sketch. We will start with the front part and follow the lines below. Then, we will approach the other end of the line until a small circle appears. Then we will know that the two ends will unite. The created shape will not have fill, but we will go to fill and choose a desired color. We will proceed similarly with the back part and we will color it with a lighter shade of the same color. Then we will draw the water drops. Those who will be closer to the front will take the color of the front and those who will be closer to the back will take the color of the back. Next we will focus on lights and shadows. First, we will create a shadow that will be found at the base of the front part. The shadow will have a darker shade of the color of the front, but we can also play with its opacity. We will also use the pencil tool, we will select both shapes and using the shape builder tool, we will erase the outside part. To delete it, we will press alt and left click. Then we will create a light at the upper part of the front side. For this we will use the color white and reduce its opacity as desired. 
We will create the light similarly to creating the shadow, so we will also use the pencil tool and shape builder tool. Then we will move to the back and do the same to create a light in the upper part and two shadows in the lower part. We can play with their colors and shades until we reach a satisfactory result. Then we will move on to creating the water drops and we will also create a light for them in the upper part using the pencil tool and then the shape builder tool. Then we will create a white ellipse that we will reduce its opacity and place it on top of the splashes and loops from the water splash. In the following we will move on to the lower part of our design. We will create an ellipse that we will flatten and place under the design. First, we will create a shadow under the water splash. We will then create a light on the left side that will be exactly at the edge of the ellipse, and one on the right side that will be inside it.
We will also create a shadow on the left side that will be similar to the light on the right side. Finally we will create a central light. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new tutorial. If you want to make a specific tutorial, do not hesitate to write in the comments section.